America to perform publicly. Uh, uh, to be clear, I'm not the manager of Isokratis. This, this is seven women. They manage me. Um, and what these women will be performing tonight is a very ancient tradition of singing uh, with many voices. The name of the group, Isokratis, literally means women who sing the drone. Uh, what this music is composed of is primarily the pentatonic scale, five notes, uh, and yet, rather than singing in harmony, there are various melodic lines that weave in and out. In other words, there are parts of the song that are sung by a leader, the lead melodic line, and then there's another person who will come in and out with sort of commentary on what's being sung. A third person will sort of add atmospheric effects, like they could be bird sounds, they could be the sounds of a bubbling brook. And then finally, there is a, a solid tonic note that holds everything together, a dark note, the ESO, it's a drone. Uh, the music of Iparos, of this region that is in southern Albania and northern Greece, uh, the instrumental music sounds identical to the vocalized music, but the vocalized music is what predates the instrumental music. Um, additionally, the polyphonic singing was not really part of the social fabric that was being displayed during a village uh, festival. Rather, polyphonic singing was something that was sort of sung in the privacy of the home around the dinner table by the family and by the villagers. Um, and these songs, uh, like most songs, are um, about love. Uh, there are, but the, the, the key thing is this type of song called a mitaloi. It's a lamentation. Uh, it's a song that sort of uh, displays the sadness of loss, loss as in death, but also loss as in being married, uh, loss as in going abroad to work. Uh, so th these are heavy, heavy songs. Um, and what the women ha have been doing for the last seven years is sort of reinstating the importance of the female voice in the Southern Balkans. So enough of my abbering. I'd like you to welcome my friends, Isokratesis. Hey. <laughs> 
glad to be here and share our music with you. We would like to thank Kennedy Center and especially Christopher King that brought us here. What you just listened to was a lament, a miroloi, as we call it in Greek, and it's a typical music expression for mourning. What comes next is a song about emigration, a living home, xenipia in Greek. People in this area, mostly men, used to leave home in order to have better lives and survive. Most of the times, they didn't see their families for many, many years. Traditional polyphony is a music form that originates from ancient era, maybe pre-Hellenic times, with influences from Byzantine music. The lyrics of these songs are uh, based on um, uh, lyricists, unknown lyricists, and um, on demotic poetry. And the themes are about love, marriage, death, humor, uh, history, nature and religion. The next song is a love song and um, is about a young man that describes uh, his uh, love feelings to his future wife just a few days before their wedding. It's called Rina, it's the female name, and uh, some of the lyrics of the song. Rina Katerina, oh Rina, don't be sad. On Sunday you will be with me and you will become free. Rina che Caterina, morrina, min farma con esse. Rina che Caterina, morrina, min farma con esse. Min farma con esse. Sorry. 
come from a village with a special local style of singing. Vergula song is about a young woman that meets her beloved at the fountain of the village where women used to go to get water. wedding song, a conversation between a mother and a daughter. Women and men in this area didn't leave their parents' home until they were married. So here is a conversation about a woman that leaves her parents' home before the marriage. <laughs> Sim. 
borderland region between Greece and Albania. This region has been for centuries a bridge for culture, music, language, and customs. So the next song is an Albanian song that people use to sing and dance at the same time. And this is a song for uh, the beauty of the bride just before the wedding. It's called Thalaz Ekuglis, that means uh, the grouse in the cage. Our names Agathi, Artemis, Sophia, Anna, Panayota, and Chrisa. And Iris. Iris. <laughs> we are grateful to announce uh, our first album uh, in collaboration with Thurman Records uh, called Cry with Tears. The album includes 13 songs, polyphonic songs, in, along with lyrics translated in three different languages, Greek, Albanian, and English. Thank you.
another lament, and we chose it uh, for as a promo song for our album, Cry With Tears. And uh, it's called Five Months Married. It refers to a young woman that has become a widow after five months of her marriage because uh, her husband were di was died in the war. The interesting uh, fact about these songs, the laments, is the use of the human voice. In these songs, we're listening to crying, talking, and singing at the same time. And this is the deepest expression of the sadness and the sorrow of the person that has lost a relative uh, and another person. Let's listen. these scarves as a symbol. In this area, women, after a person of their family has passed away, wear these black scarves over their heads 
as an expression of mourning. And now a combination of songs refer to woman as a grouse. Imitation of birds, goats, sheep are a basic uh, part in, in these songs. Human and nature as one. Sono perdi cagrameni gets us back to 1800s. It refers to a historical person called Lady Frosini. Frosini and 17 more women were executed by drowning in the town's lake by the order of the local Ottoman governor because of resistance. Oh, my God. 
Euphonic songs are divided in two categories. One category is the one that people at the same time sing and dance. The other one has to do with people amongst their friends or their families sitting at the table and drinking and singing. Albanian song, Albanian polyphony and Greek polyphony are listed in UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage for Humanity. This is a love song. It's about a man expressing his love to his beloved. And some of the lyrics are, the wind shakes your soul, it ruffles your breads, you bird of Kirokastra, you yellow bird's voice.
towards the end of our performance. One more song about love and immigration, and we will close with dancing music forms that are normally accompanied by instruments. Here, a cappella.
more polyphonic songs. <laughs> this one also from the village we were born. It's a song that uh, expresses again love. People used to sing it and dancing most of the time.
closing time. Yeah. Time to sleep <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so you're gonna sing a, uh, we're gonna sing a lullaby just to say goodbye. Let's hear it for Isocrates, their first time in America. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us at the Millennium Stage.